fish that can do that. Look at those teeth. Woo! Good job, good job. Woohoo! Yeah! Oh, the big What's up folks? Welcome to another episode of Hooked on OC. We are right here every Sunday morning, 7 a.m. Ryan B, he doesn't watch it much because that's usually because he's sleeping. Me too. So if you got a DVR, hit the DVR button and watch it whenever you feel like it or check us out on YouTube at youtube.com slash unseen pro. Heading out with my good friend today, Captain Brian B. He, he's gotten back into the inshore charter game and we're over here on the Chesapeake Bay today. Some place out of the eastern shore of Virginia, not going to give you specifics unless he wants to at the end. Rockfish, trout, bluefish, you name it, it's all good over here and it gets nothing but better as the fall moves along. Stay tuned after the break, Chesapeake Bay casting with a new technique you're going to see, popping corks. See you in just a second. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. Storm has the area's largest selection of girls' clothing. 10,000 square feet of girls' surfwear, featuring Billabong, Roxy, Volcom, O'Neill, and Ruka, and swimwear by L-Space and Magi, and many more. By far the largest selection of girls' surfwear that you need to be seen in this summer. Quiet Storm Surf Shop Boardwalk at North Division Street, right next to the Ocean City Arch. Sunset Marina is Ocean City's premier full-service marina resort. Sunset Marina is located just five minutes from the Ocean City beach and boardwalk. Sunset's charter fleet boasts the finest fleet of sport fishing boats in the mid-Atlantic, all operated by Coast Guard licensed captains. One look at Sunset's amenities and you're hooked for good. Contact Sunset Marina today to book your fishing charter. Call 1-877-514-FISH. And now, back for more Hooked on OC. Alright guys, let's talk setup. <clears throat> Captain Brian's got us doing something a little bit different uh, than we usually do over here on the Chesapeake Bay, but it is an effective uh, method of catching fish all around the East Coast. When you get into shallow water situations, we did this in North Carolina a couple years ago, and it's pop, it's popper cork fishing, all right? The reason they call it a pop cork is because basically the action of the cork will go up and down on this metal bar, and mine's a little bit bent, but I don't think it's gonna affect it too much. And you've got these beads on top and bottom, and it stops it at the top and the bottom. You can hear that sound that it makes. And a lot of times when shrimp and other bait fish are underwater, they're jumping up and down. They're doing this kind of action up off the bottom, right? Sometimes jigs as well. 
<clears throat> so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna throw these up against the marsh banks, try and get onto a little bit of a drop off. That's where these fish are hanging out, that sort of thing. And these can be really effective like that. So what am I fishing this popping cork on? I borrowed Ryan's fishing rod here. This is Ryan's fishing OC, hooked on OC, flounder, six foot JPR spinning rod. Love these things, have a great action. They also have a very stiff backbone to them for fighting fish. Love these for fishing the back bay with the kids, for flounder and that sort of thing. And they're great for out here casting and stuff. I've got about a two and a half foot leader and that goes down to our new thingamajig. Been out this summer doing really, really well. This, uh, this rig is working tremendously well over here on the Chesapeake Bay with rockfish, speckled trout. I've heard of a couple of red drum caught on it and it works really well over in Ocean City for all those species as well. We were killing rockfish earlier this year when we broke it out with Blake Gunther in the spring and I know it's going to be effective over here in the fall too. You can get these at Atlantic Tackle, Bahia Marine, a couple other spots or if you don't live in the area, go to fishingoc.com to our shop where all the flounder rigs and stuff are. You can find a thingamajig there as well. Any kind of inshore reel is going to be fine. This is a 20 pound back bay um, by Canyon Reels. Still have this bad boy on here. It's been really good for us over the past couple of years. But any outfit you've got spinning gear wise from 10 to maybe 20 pound is going to be fine. 20 pound braid on here. This two and a half foot leader is, is 20 pound as well. And then that goes down to the thingamajig. You don't ever want to tie any kind of rig uh, or otherwise directly to your braid if you're fishing braid. Abrasion resistance on braid is kind of an issue, especially when you have toothy critters like trout, bluefish, and that sort of thing. So give her a whirl out there. The action kind of goes like this. Jake, if you can turn toward the water, we'll show you how you do it. As you're reeling it in, you're gonna every once in a while just give it that pop. And we're gonna pop it along, throw it as far as we can, to close to the uh, marsh as we can get it. Pop it along and hope for a bite, see what happens. Feels like a trout because of his head shake. Yeah, Oh, the net is actually under you, Scott. Uh, rockfish. The net. Yeah. Rockfish. Rock Balboa. Big rockfish, man. Hell yeah. Big gang of them. Look at you like a bat, like bass federation. <laughs> well, in my next life, that's what I want to be. <laughs> Come on, come on. There he is. Nice fish, brother. Here's a cool trick. See how he's gagged on that? And that bait's way down in his mouth? Well, a lot of times, Coming out the other side. all you got to do is get that hook lined up out his gill. Like this. Well, you can see the hook in his gill, like that. So the hook just falls right out, just like that. So a lot of times it looks like he swallowed it, he's gonna be bleeding everywhere, but really the hook's just looped over his gill. And all you gotta do is go up through the gill and pop it out. Easy way. Well done, Captain Brian. He's just hanging out, letting you take a picture. There you go. I think that's a trout looking for. Keep calling, trout. Well, I haven't done this in a while now, it's a rockfish. <laughs> Man, he inhaled that one too. Oop, oh, there's one to me too. You get him? Yeah. He swam right at me too. Got a little player here. There we go, man. A little Chesapeake Bay rockfish up in these creeks and stuff. This is a blast. This water is really shallow. And these uh, these baits are working like a charm so far. A couple fish in just a couple of minutes. Whoa! Healthy little fish right there. Get him back quick. Got a little, poked him in the gill just a little bit, but he'll be all right. Let's watch him swim away. There he goes. But we're using popping corks back here. We used these down in uh, North Carolina when we went <laughs> a couple of uh, a couple of years ago, maybe two years ago now. And that's the thingamajig, the fishing OC thingamajig, custom poured head, old school um, shad body on there. 
this thing has been working like a charm for us with these rockfish and over here on the Chesapeake Bay. Wouldn't be surprised if we had a trout eat one either. We'll see. We're just getting started here. Captain Brian Behe on Buffalo Hunter Guide Service back in the Chesapeake game business and putting us on fish right out the gate. That's a rockfish. This is the first fish I've caught where I can actually see the lure in his mouth. Not a monster, but on this little tackle, they are fun, man. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. Top Dog Services is built on an essential response attitude and has been serving the entire East Coast since 1994. In these uncertain times, we understand our customers' need for an immediately safe environment. Top Dog is now specializing in electrostatic cleaning as well as full commercial janitorial services for clients that include the U.S. Pentagon. We have crews ready to efficiently and proactively address and clean confirmed COVID-19 areas to allow a safe return to the space at the earliest convenience. Give Top Dog Services a call to find out why our motto stands strong. Lean on experience, adapt to new ideas. At Park Place Jewelers, we believe your true love should be wearing the brightest diamond in the room. Why do seemingly identical diamonds have a 70% difference in price? Park Place Jewelers is introducing the Bright Crystal Diamond, which is scientifically proven to be in the world's top 10% of all the world's brightest natural diamonds. Come into Park Place Jewelers and find out why from virtual reality to third-party validation and a GIA grading report, we will provide more buyer education and instill confidence in our customers that the Bright Crystal Diamond they are buying is a world-class diamond. Welcome to Monogram Furniture. We've got your style and budget in mind with two locations in West Ocean City and Fenwick Island. Coastal, modern, contemporary, or casual, our knowledgeable design team will make your house into a home with the personal touches that set Monogram Furniture above the rest. Get the wow factor for your home at a price that can't be beaten. 12 months, 0% financing now available. We've also got your windows and doors covered with our custom blinds, shades, and shutters. Discover your style. Discover Monogram today. Improve your vision, improve your life. Call now to schedule your exam appointment or bring your prescription in today. An Optical Galleria is the creator of Hook Optics, the hottest new brand of polarized sunglasses made to handle the most demanding environments. This award-winning practice has three convenient locations, West Ocean City, Centerville, and Easton, on the web at eyesandart.net and hookoptics.com. Atlantic Tackle, we know fishing. Atlantic Tackle is the Mid-Atlantic's most complete tackle store, showcasing a huge selection of rods and reels, bait and tackle, fishing apparel, eyewear, and ocean-inspired home decor from industry leaders like Penn, Shimano, Bait Masters, Costa, Smith Optics, Pelagic, Hook, Olakai, Extra Tough, and Yeti. Stop by Atlantic Tackle on Sunset Avenue across from Sunset Grill in West Ocean City or visit us online at AtlanticTackle.com. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Hey guys, what's up? Scott and Lennox from Hooked on OC here at one of my favorite playgrounds. And with Dino, one of my favorite Dino, people. Dino. How are you, it's Scott? Great to see you, man. Nice Listen, seeing you. It's that time of year again. Hopefully on Black Friday we're about to talk about the weather is just like this, but I had no idea you were gonna get into the part as well as you have well, today. I feel you like know, sitting on your lap I, almost. I semi-retired and I thought I'd change the look a little bit. Looks so, great, man. Uh, we're, you know, we're red and I'll green be able to get and hats and you I, got the whole nine yards. I guess I'll be able to get a part-time job as Santa. <laughs> uh -huh. Watch out, kids! Keep your kids safe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how many years have we been doing this? It's been this? a bunch, man. It's, it's been like a bunch. Six, I believe. Yeah, it's, but, it's been uh, a bunch. But it's for a great reason. Look, you got Black Friday sale here, and it's a ridiculous savings. We got to talk about it because it's not 10%, 20%. You're talking half off of, of season passes and stuff, and a lot of fun when you come by this stuff. Scott, it, it's a blast, uh, number one. Um, but to, to start with, Scott, yes, it's 50% off all of our 2022 passes here at Jolly Rogers, and it's Black Friday, one day only. Um, yeah. Right here at the Speed World building, yeah. right behind us. That's why we're here. And that's Friday, November the 26th, from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. Okay. And, and and you touched on it just a while, a, a while ago. It's a lot of fun. Oh, it man. really is a lot of fun. You guys do food. You got a little fire pit out here in front of the place. The kids are having a great time playing arcade games and stuff inside. Yeah. Cookies and hot chocolate. <laughs> It's just like, it's, it's a Christmas atmosphere and, here. And the whole place inside is decorated yeah. for Christmas. And uh, we have a lot of people that, that really, truly enjoy themselves while they're spending, um, you know, some money, yep. but saving 50 cents on every dollar that they spend. It's, so, a, crazy, uh, it's a crazy deal, man. And, it, and look, the, the, the season pass here is a good deal because the local folks that come, I know several of them, 
They come here and they use the season pass, and they're here once a week during the summer, it man. So they save fifty percent on it. It's probably the best deal, and probably uh, the item that we sell the most of. But mm. it's 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 half off of everything. Yeah. Splash Mountain, Speed World, the amusement park, the miniature golf courses, uh, the rides at the pier. It's half off of yeah. everything. What a great Christmas uh, gift! And I got to tell you, Scott, you know you've heard about these uh, supply chain issues, yep. and you know Christmas toys are getting yep. stuck out on the on the on the ocean you might not be able to get that elmo doll this year or the gi joe with the kung fu grip because it's stuck out in the pacific ocean yes but but you we will never run out of passes here folks we never run out of passes unlimited. and we never run out of fun here at jolly Rogers. so basically you get here on that day black friday before between eight and five o'clock yep. you're guaranteed to get a pass we uh we never run out we never intend to run out and we never will run that's out. awesome man so great time you hear black friday you're having the atmosphere the cookies, the hot chocolate, and all that stuff. Guess what, man? I got to work, and I can't get out of work on Black Friday. You got something for me? Well, we all know you don't work there very hard to begin with. Watch but your let, mouth. Assuming, <laughs> that, assuming that you do have plans on Black Friday, we do have a wingding of a sale on Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday, yeah. November 29th, all of our passes online only are 30% off. That's still a great deal. It so is a great can't, deal. you can't get here in person, or you live someplace where in Pennsylvania where you're just not coming down here for just the day on Black Friday, online from your couch, 30% off. And what is the uh, secret code? Do you remember? Jolly Santa 2022. Did I get it? You got it. Jolly Santa 2022. Put it down here, you guys. All caps, no spaces. So uh, that's uh, Cyber Monday in case you can't make it here on uh, on Black Friday. But we certainly invited all of our friends, everyone uh, uh, you know, here on the shore. Make the yeah. trip. It's a great day. Uh, a lot of fun. And uh, as, as Scott has said, some terrific savings on Christmas presents. Yeah, and listen folks, if you want to get more information about the park in general, just what ha they have going on here, all the different rides, Speed World and all the different tracks they've got here, largest wooden track in the entire world, yep. it's JollyRogerPark.com. No S at the end, JollyRogerPark.com. JollyRogerPark.com for more information. And uh, again, Scott, thank you for coming out again this year, my brother. You're my buddy. And uh, we look forward to seeing everybody on Black Friday. And if not, see you online on Monday, Cyber Monday, for 30% off. Dino, thanks very much. Brother. All right, buddy. Love Take you. Take care. Love you. Ho, ho, ho. Hey, hey, hey. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. We catch a lot of fish here at Hooked On OC, and my JPR custom rods are nothing but the best. Some of the finest inshore, offshore, casting, spinning, and trolling rods on the planet today. Custom rods, custom logos, all at unbeatable prices. Go to JPRrods.com. With over 130 years combined experience, Midshore Electronics offers a team of FCC licensed, factory trained, and CMET technicians that are ready for any marine electronics installation, modification, or repair. No project too small. Midshore Electronics provides the most innovative marine electronics solutions available and our work has been voted best on the bay for over 20 years. With locations in both Cambridge and Ocean City, you can depend on Midshore Electronics to give you the highest quality of sales, installation, and design services available. Visit our website, stop by, or call us today. Hey guys, what's up? I'm here with Luke and Laura from Sandmarks Marketing. Brand new book out this summer. Luke, tell me about it. Thank you, Scott. Destination Ocean City and Delaware Beaches has all the fun, cool family stuff, including dining, shopping, attractions, golf, and surfing. Don't forget fishing. <laughs> right. oh, that's fishing awesome. Too, that's Scott. awesome. <laughs> and you can find it all around town, I guess. You can. Look in your hotel room, look for the beach chair. And you'll be there.
Tipsy Tiki is a floating tiki bar, the only one in the Ocean City area that is Coast Guard certified for 12 passengers with a Maryland State liquor license. Great for bachelor, bachelorette parties, and birthdays, anniversaries. Enjoy a calm cruise in the backwaters behind Assateague Island in Ocean City. The cost is $70 per person, which includes a 90-minute cruise and full bar service. You can bring your own food or you can call Crab Alley for carryout. Check us out at Facebook or our website at tipsytiki.com. Call 443-606-0822. Our friendly crew is ready to welcome you aboard. And now back for more Hooked on OC. mean little fish man jumpers oh, that's perch. a white perch that's a dang white perch big white perch big white perch all right man we're two fish to a slam <laughs> we're two fish to a slam take a look at that thing brian show me that white perch yeah that's a white perch that's a healthy one you can eat him no problem oh yeah yeah they're good eating too about that size I'm gonna save him for February up on the Nanakote. That's right. Play him, play him. That's another, another perch. Another perch. Another jumbo oh, perch. Holy oh, moly, man. man. Man, you heard the words right out of Brian's mouth. Hammer white perch. I felt this little boom, boom, and the bobber was just, the, the cork was just staying under, just barely. And I know we're in some shallow water, so I was thinking maybe it got hung up in the grass for a second or something like that, but then sure enough, fish bite. But that, look at that. I mean, the thingamajig is a half ounce lead, and that tail's four and a half inches, four, four inches, four and a half inches. And that's the white perch I just ate. That's a jumbo, brother. You catch one of those in the wintertime, you're like, get the fillet knife. But out here, we want them to get a little bit fatter, so in February, March of next year, that bad boy is nice and fat. Be careful with them. They've got some points up on the top of the dorsal fin here. Not terribly bad, but you can see that. When we stick them up to like that, those spikes in the back, if he decides to activate those, you can get poked. So be real careful with that. But otherwise, no teeth in the mouth there. Delicious eating fish. Uh, white perch. And I know some people that really like the row in the spring as well. But beautiful white perch over here on the Chesapeake Bay. Thanks, brother. Swimming away. I, I literally was saying, a rockfish just tore through here. Nah, but this is a white perch. Jumbo white perch? Yeah, what? Maybe he's chasing oh, white perch. Got, got, need, Dude, that's a, a jumbo gaff. white perch. We're gonna need a couple flying gaffs, a couple. Get the, holy oh. smoke. I thought mine was big. Yeah, look at that. That's what she said. That is a jumbo white perch. So I, I was literally looking down in the water there and I said, man, I think Brian, I think a rockfish just tore underneath the boat. Probably a foot or so below the surface. Um, and it maybe it's heading towards your bait. It wasn't probably 30 seconds and boom, boom, his cork goes under um, and catches that white perch. The fish I saw was bigger than that, so I don't know if there's maybe some larger fish in here chasing these smaller white perch or if it was just a jumbo white perch swimming below can, us. But when you can lip a white perch, that's a solid fish. That is a jumbo and there's I stuff in saw, here breaking. I saw a mullet jump too, like we're a in Texas or something. Yeah. Sure, sure about a small rockfish? It was a mullet. Here, I'll show them. Okay, here you go. Here we go. Go ahead and keep on fishing. So that's what you guys out there, white perch fishermen. That's what you're looking for, bro. That's a 12 inch, 13 inch white perch. You get some really, really nice fillets off of that thing. Talking like sandwich size. You don't have to put five or six fillets together to make a sandwich. You just use that one. <laughs> but that's a really, really nice white perch. And a bunch of fun. We weren't catching anything for a couple minutes, and that'll that'll definitely break the boredom. Nice fish, man. That's not a white perch. Oh, I'm getting the net, Brian. Yeah, I'm getting the net. This is what this is what I'm after in here. Let's call. Let's hope this is a trout. 
This, this might be some. Trout. I don't think so either. This might be some rockfish fillets from my, my mom. But we're immediately on the net here. And unlike ocean, thank you for that. I'm sorry. I'm out of practice, man. You say it's your first time <laughs> over here. It's my first time too. Um, unlike over in Ocean City, this isn't a cow nose ray or something. When you're fishing around the Route 50 bridge, you can throw that lure out there and snag a ray or something like that, or a big bluefish. This is more than likely a nice rockfish. Um, annihilated his his jig off the point there. Nice rock. Come here, man. Go whichever way the fish takes you, folks. Yeah, buddy. Nice fish. That's a heavy one. Nice fish. That is a heavy rock fish. Got him. I got five. Yeah, we got him. See if we can get that out of there. It's down in. These fish have been absolutely inhaling these rigs. Yeah, that's um, been crazy. They are, they are aggressive back here. And as soon as that cork hit the water, and the the, the lure got down below the uh, surface, whoosh! It immediately went under. And I heard him. Good thing we weren't filming right away because there was expletive deleted all over the place. But look at that bad boy. Let's get him in the light. Yeah! Look at that joker. Pretty fish. See how green Beautiful he is. fish, man. Yep, nice and green, just like the color of the water. They tend to, to change the, co the color of their skin depending on where they are just slightly. So these fish over out. here. Yeah, look at that bald eagle thinks we're going to throw it to him. Not two happening, bald, bro. My mom's, my mom's getting this, brother. <laughs> two bald eagles. But they'll, they'll, all, always, they'll a lot of times change color. Like those fish we see over on the ocean side are more silvery blue up top, whereas these fish over here are going to be that green, light green, down the white on the bottom. And I think we're going to keep this one. Yeah, I think he's 20 inches. Booyah! Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. For over 40 years, the Dough Roller has been an Ocean City tradition, serving award-winning fresh dough pizza and our signature buttermilk pancakes served all day. Visit our website for menus, location details, and hours. Featuring the finest and largest fleet of charter boats in the Mid-Atlantic region, the Ocean City Fishing Center has been the premier spot for offshore sports fishing for four decades. Whether it's a family outing, a corporate event, or just a day on the water with your friends. All our charters are led by Coast Guard licensed captains and boast knowledgeable crews dedicated to helping you catch the big one. Call us today and book your charter. We accommodate groups of all sizes. The Ocean City Fishing Center. The locals know it's the best place to go. Hey everybody, looking for what's going on in and around Ocean City? Pick up the dispatch. 25,000 copies in over 200 locations all around Delmarva and the Fishing OC Fishing Report by yours truly with pictures from Dave Messick and some of the best captains in the biz. Pick it up. Racetrack Marine, the area's premier Tidewater Center Console and Sylvan pontoon boat dealer. In stock or custom order Tidewater starting at 18 feet and Sylvan pontoons up to 27 feet. Service, maintenance, and trailers. Find it all here at Racetrack Marine. We buy, broker, and sell pre-owned boats too. Deep discounts and the best stem to stern warranty available. Say goodbye to last year's boat repairs. Stop dreaming and start boating today. Racetrack Marine, the place that does it all. You know Miller Lite only has one more calorie, right? Ah, and more taste! We've had Arizona for over six years. In the beginning, we knew that this was gonna make a difference, but we didn't realize how big of a difference it was gonna make. I think our staff enjoy being able to have that option to sanitize their classroom. We actually didn't realize exactly how many people would enroll in our school just because we had Arizona. So just the fact that they know that we're doing everything we can to make sure we're cutting out those germs in the classroom. That is what's best for the kids. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Pretty good. I'll just leave it inside the boat and then inch it to you. 
Oh yeah, nice. Oh yeah, it would be 16 or 17 inches in this. Nice. Take it, man. Yeah, on the thingy majig. Yeah. It's off that same point, man. Off that same point. Brian said when we get to these points that have the brown grass in them, we've been getting bites. And he's right about that. We got to this point, little cut behind it. I threw up right against the bank pop 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 and, and got a bite missed him i had a little bit too much slack in the line this wind's making it tough because it's blowing the braid it'll br blow the braid and blow these uh you know these kind of wind spots into it um but i threw it right back over there and on the second cast yeah buddy we're not going to measure him i bet he's close he's probably 18 maybe 19 but we're not going to push it we only want to keep a couple today um how many are we allowed we're allowed one right we're allowed two a piece you sure about that I'm not, he's not sure about that, so look it up. I think it's one. Um, it's one a piece, yeah, one a piece. And I think right now it's 19 inches. That changes throughout the season over here on the Chesapeake Bay. Ocean City, real easy. Ocean City's easy. Ocean City is tough. We're allowed one fish from 28 to 35 inches. That's it. We got a slot, is what they call it, just like Red Drum. Red Drum are 18 to 27 inches. That fish falls into that slot, we call it. You're allowed to keep them anything under 28 for a rockfish or over 35 for a rockfish over on our side in ocean city and the coastal bays those fish have to go back but anything between 28 and 35 we're allowed to keep one per person this technique is not very popular over there because you know people don't like casting pop popping corks and stuff we could catch them like this in the marshes around ocean city i'm sure of it but the more popular thing to do is to cast these thingamajigs roy rigs that sort of stuff around the route 50 bridge and the South Jetty, which is very, very good as well right now. Great time on the Buffalo Hunter, Brian. Yep, yep. Let's get a couple more now. We need a trout. We need a trout. Yeah, we need a trout. We got two species to a, to a Grand Slam, a Chesapeake Bay Slam. I think we can do it. So the bow of the boat, you're laughing because you know what I'm about to say. The bow of the boat is in perfect position for me to throw my rig where I just got a bite and he purposely puts a trolling motor into a, a port turn and gets me away from the bite and puts himself in the perfect position. I can't see, I can't see that here. Come on back here. I didn't tell you you had to stay back. Nice there. try, man. Your apology is not accepted yet. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. oh, he piled on you, you jerk. That's what you get. That away. You were rewarded by your, your jerkness. <laughs> oh, that is another nice one. Yeah, I don't see that until while he's fighting. That's what my initial bite was before you stole my spot. I had three bites on that popping cork. Right here? Yeah, yeah. I had three bites on the popping cork itself before. Oh, that's a nice fat dish, man. Oh! Oh! There it was. <laughs> there it was. Now we're all right. You're now. I accept your apology because that's what you get. Look at this. The net is in my hand still. Thought we had him turn the bow away from my position put me in a bad fish fishing position you get hooked up you get hooked up payback is losing that fish beside the boat now we're even <laughs> fishing position he said <laughs> hold on get this on film now that's, that's I don't, where my bite was my yeah bite was this is there. where but i don't think this is as nice a fish although i haven't really had to pull on him yet look at him Eh, eh. That's up to you. I can't Whoa, he's one. angry. I will say one thing. These, him? No, nah, it's okay. I will say one thing though. These fish have been angry today. Good now. They are inhaling baits too, buddy. All these bites have been super aggressive. I mean, there's plenty for them to eat back here, too. You see all these crabs, and you know, every once in a while we'll see bait flickering around. There's white perch, obviously, too. So maybe they're competing for, maybe they're competing for food a little bit more than we think. Pretty fish. This fish has a messed up eye. Check this out. Oh, that's, that's called no eye. That's not a messed up eye. Yeah, he's missing an eye. He may have been hooked before. Well, we're nowhere near Three Mile Island, so. No, he saw this. He saw that just fine. Healthy, he's eating fine. Nice work, buddy. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. 
One of the shore's best kept secrets is a secret no more. Ocean Pines Golf and Country Club is home to the only Robert Trent Jones Senior Championship Golf Course on the Eastern Shore. Ocean Pines is set amongst natural wetlands and scenic woodlands making it a must play. Experience golf as it was meant to be played. Call 410-641-6057 or visit us online at oceanpinesgolf.org to book your tee time today. Pure lure, baby, pure lure. It's beyond the gun. It's the brain before the bullet. It's not you doing a drill, it's you mastering a skill that could save your life. Fortress Training trains both beginners and advanced shooters on the skill of carrying a firearm and is unlike any other training. Fortress Training has helped over 2,000 people successfully obtain a Maryland wear and carry permit. If you qualify, we can help. Public, private, and corporate events for training are also available. Train at the next level. Train with Fortress Training. Just what exactly does Okaya mean? Okaya means strength. Okaya means dependability. Okaya means value. Okaya means fishing. Check out the full line of Okaya rods, reels, and accessories at okaya.com and find out for yourself why thousands of customers around the world rely on Okaya fishing equipment. Because Okaya means business. Hello everybody, Dean Langra with Jolly Roger Amusement Park here in front of the Speed World Building and that can only mean one thing, it's our world famous Black Friday sale. And if you haven't heard about it, listen to what your friends and neighbors have to say. My favorite part is the great discount I got and I got to meet so many interesting people online. Just knowing how much fun my kids are going to have. Well, we like the value, the big ticket's awesome and I don't have to stand in line because my wife's in there. Get it all done, right here at Jolly Roger. Are you looking for the best crabs on this side of the Chesapeake Bay? Then head on over to Crabs to Go on the corner of Route 50 and 589. For over 20 years, Crabs to Go has been bringing you the fattest, tastiest crabs on the eastern shore available by the bushel or by the dozen. We also offer a full menu including shrimp, clams, oysters, scallops, lobster tails, crab meat, and soft crabs. Call ahead for fast, hot carryout. Or stop by for our homemade crab cakes, soups, and salads. This is where the locals come. Crabs to Go, Routes 50 and 589, West Ocean City. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Angler's Advantage time here at Atlantic Tackle in West Ocean City. Your one-stop shop for everything that you need on the water here in Ocean City or over on the Chesapeake Bay like we're over there doing with Captain Brian Behe looking for these trout, rockfish, bluefish, you name it over there in the shallows of the Chesapeake Bay off the Tangier Sound area and that sort of thing. A lot of these rigs are going to be versatile in both places, all right? Catching the same species. They hang out in the same areas, kind of shallow water, current moving by on a tide change, that sort of thing. Atlantic Tackle's got it all over here. If you're looking for a popper rig, they've got a couple of options for you here. They've got a bluefish popper rig, and they've also got a snapper popper rig. This is going to be more for your trout, flounder, uh, that sort of thing, whereas this is going to be more for your rockfish and bluefish. These are rigged up mainly for bait, so you're going to probably want to swap these out and put something on the bottom like a lure, kind of like we're casting with Captain Brian today. But this is an option as far as a popper rig is concerned here over at Atlantic Tackle. Now what we're doing is we're casting these things just like we do over here in Ocean City and we're using lead heads. A couple of different options here at, at uh, Atlantic Tackle. Fathom's got some jig heads, half ounce, three quarter. Half ounce is fine as long as you've got something that can get it out there. These are going to be great options for that. Chartreuse, white, red are going to be your most popular colors. You can see that across the board. Gotcha's got a couple of different options in the half ounce as well. Some of these are going to be less expensive. Some of them sometimes you're going to have to pop that little paint in the circle there where the eye of the rig is. You're going to pop a hole in the paint there to get your leader through. Depends on the quality of the rig and where, and where you're getting it from. These are great options for this. Got another one here. Eagle Claw makes one that's got a hook holder on it. You can press it right up against the head. If you want to put your own stuff together, here's some popular colors for you. Salt and pepper, okay? Sea shad. Love that chartreuse tail option. We do it on all of our thingamajigs because it's a real attractor there. And then white. White's just the mainstay. 
and that replicates different bait fish both here in Ocean City and over on the Chesapeake Bay. So you take these jig heads with any of these combinations, put them together, try out different options until you figure out which one's working, and then you're going to go and cast away until you get something to eat. You want to make it all good in one package? The fish and OC thingamajig, all right? Lead head shad is already on there. Comes with a white head, white body, and two different colors you can swap out. Same thing with the green head. These both glow. Green comes on green with white and another one to swap out. And brand new, by request of Atlantic Tackle, red, salt and pepper, chartreuse tail. That one's on the shelf here at Atlantic Tackle as well. These are all half ounces. You tie them on, maybe two or three feet a liter, put a swivel on there, cast away, rockfish killer over here in Ocean City. And as you can see, catching a good amount of fish over there on the Chesapeake Bay with Captain Brian Behe. So that's the spread here at Atlantic Tackle. Make sure you stop by, oh, almost missed one. Wanna catch a keeper rockfish here in Ocean City? Great option. These storm lures, it looks just like a bunker. And there are a million bunker in the bay right now. There probably will be for the next month or so. And you're going to want to go over and switch live bait, eels, live spot, live mullet, and that sort of thing, right around the Route 50 bridge area or on the South Jetty to catch those keeper rockfish. Remember those limits, folks. It's real stupid. 28 inches to 35 inches in between. That's where it's got to land. Anything shorter or over, got to go back. Atlantic Tackle over here in West Ocean City, 410-213-0421. Come check them out right across the street from Sunset Grill, right down the street from Sunset Marina. We'll be right back. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. Sunset Provisions is Delmarva's largest marine supply retailer, stocking an unmatched selection of pumps, paints, hoses, cosmetic care products, and marine hardware. Featuring the absolute best brands in the industry, combine this unbelievable in-stock selection of top-name brands with super competitive pricing and a seasoned staff that can help you navigate your project. Make Sunset Provisions Delmarva's go-to marine supply store. So stop by or call today and see for yourself what makes Sunset Provisions the area's best marine supply store. Sunset Provisions is located in West Ocean City at Sunset Marina. At Spencer Yachts, your dreams can become a reality in a sport fishing yacht unequaled in style, performance, and value. Spencer Yachts has taken the Carolina style of boat building and transformed it into a world-class, high-performance sport fishing yacht. Spencer Yachts Brokerage is Spencer Yachts' in-house trusted yacht broker with extensive market knowledge. New to Spencer Yachts Brokerage is the beautiful 77-foot Jarrett Bay Boatworks sport fish, Mama Who. Check out Mama Who and all that Spencer Yachts Brokerage has to offer at SpencerYachtsInc.com. Since time began, the ocean has called us. Especially the ocean in Ocean City, Maryland. People don't come here. They're called here by a force greater than themselves to escape, to relax, to play, to reconnect with family and friends. Because Ocean City, Maryland isn't just a destination. It's our destiny. Answer the call at OCOcean.com. Aquatraction custom designed marine flooring products have exceptional traction wet or dry, making your boat safer, cleaner, and more comfortable. Aquatraction flooring is durable, stain resistant, and backed with 3M adhesive specifically designed to withstand the harshest marine environments. With 23 nationwide reps, Aquatraction has an unmatched three year warranty, provides the fastest turnaround time, and has unparalleled customer service. Check out Aquatraction.com to find out why I've got it in my boat and how it's charter proven all around the country. PYY Marine is the Mid-Atlantic's choice for Yellowfin, Cape Horn, and Solus boats and is an authorized factory trained sales and service center for Yamaha, Mercury, and Suzuki engines. PYY Marine in Pasadena, Maryland offers affordable slips and the gated facility offers 24-hour surveillance for worry-free storage. Whether it's education, service, slips, sales, or storage, our goal is to make boating easy and fun. Give our experienced crew a call and let our customer service speak for itself. Why PYY Marine? Why not? And now back for more Hooked on OC. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Power pole down. Let's stay here. Man. Oh, that's another good one. Alright, I'm getting in there. You're holding. 
Whoa, that was cool, man. He ran up in that shallow water. I'm getting it. Easy, tiger. Man, he's not that big, but man. No, he's feisty, angry. dude. I thought he was 17 pounds when I first hooked him. <laughs> I'll net him anyway. He's only going to be 18 or 19 inches again. Yeah! <laughs> yes, sir. Man, is that fun. Man, he's bigger than I thought he was. Man, he is that fun. He might be a keeper. Man, is that fun. He went, he went up there in about two inches of water. and He was cutting, cutting water, man, like he was trying to get someplace. He's fishing right up against this bank, man. We were, we were getting ready to move. He pulled the power pole up out of the, out of the dirt. And we were getting ready to move, but I threw right where Brian lost that fish where he initially got hooked up, right up against the bank, against the calm water. A couple of pops, and boom, this fish piled on. Then he tried to take off into that shallow water to get loose, and that's when he put up that ruckus, and all that water was flying over all over the place. Really cool fight, He man. put up a ruckus. That was a ruckus. <laughs> hooked him good, too. I'll tell you what. Well, at least it's easy to get to. Well, here, we can do it. Okay. Yeah, something. Thumb it, thumb it. Yeah. Got him? Sometimes it's tough to get that out of there when it's in that really tough part of the cheek. Right here in his mouth. That's about the toughest spot you can get it into. And that's right where I got him. I got him and I got him double hooked. It goes in the one side and out the other. So sometimes these can be tough to get out because of that tough part of the mouth. But a couple of turns, a couple of pops. Thingamajig doing the trick, man. I switched colors and put that dark on there. With that green head, that green glows. Don't need to worry about that today, but beautiful fight on that fish. Let me stash this real quick. Brian, we're looking for 19, right? Uh, I'd like to say 20 on I'm, that. I, I think we want to be 20 inches as well. So I'm gonna anything under 20, we're gonna put him back. So he's he's oh he's 18 and a half. We don't want to be greedy. I know he's not 18 over here to keep him, so we're gonna take his fish and put him back. But another beautiful, healthy Chesapeake Bay rockfish. You can see this fish isn't quite as green as that last one I caught. Water's a little bit cleaner over here. Nice fish, dude. Yeah! And there he goes. Cut that bobber off and put it on your rod. This rod's gonna be... Seriously? <laughs> I don't even know if I can count this one, but the super slam is complete. All right, so this is not this is not making legal limit. Brian was right when I said perch. I assumed it was because it was one of the smallest fish that we caught, but it's not. That's a speckled trout, a really really small one. Brian did call it right from the get go when he saw it come up and jump. Um, but that's him. We want a much larger version of this, like <laughs> twice the size of what we're looking twice. for. But it is a speckled trout. This thing is about a half a foot long. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> six, six to seven inches. Be careful of those teeth, man. You can see, like the unlike the white perch, I'm not going to stick my thumb in his mouth because he's got those little spiked teeth there. I'm going to get it back in the water, but that is a speckled trout. Target species acquired. Thanks, brother. <laughs> this one doesn't feel like much. Holy crap! I mean, come on, seriously? What in the world? Look at these things, folks. If you're a perch fisherman, man, you love these things. Wow. I mean, that was an aggressive bite. I had a feeling that it wasn't a, uh, a rockfish, or if it was, it was a real small one. But these perch are huge, dude. I mean, that is huge. That's an Eric Sexton-sized perch. I'm going to break out a piece of plywood a little while later and lay these things out. <laughs> There's those spikes I was telling you about a little while ago. Be real careful of those. And also on his gill plate, there's some spikes as well. Right here, if you look closely, you might not even be able to see that. But right there, there's a little poker. And down here on the front side, that's where the sharp parts of the gill plate are. Got to be careful in those spots. So otherwise, most of the time, we just big, big fish like this, we just lip them like that, like you would a bass or a, a striper. Take the hook out and throw them back. Or throw them in a the cooler. Dude, these... No, man. It's that time of year. One of those. Still summertime. Is that one of the bigger ones? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at that. You can't pass up. Those are so good to eat. Yeah. Uh, another perch. Oh, hey, look at these monster perch. These jigs. I know. I mean, 
I'll catch perch on jigs purposely, but usually going to be smaller jigs than this. Yeah, like half ounce, four inch jigs. That's a big old perch, man. Good eating. People watching this probably say, man, why is he throwing all them perch back? <laughs> I'll take them perch. Well, you meet me at the ramp and you can have them because I'm, I'm eating steak tonight. Probably hot dogs, tube steak. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. How much protection from the beach would you need to match the Arctic Air Coastal Series air conditioner? Still not enough. Arctic Air Coastal Series, built for the beach. Top Dog Services is built on an essential response attitude and has been serving the entire East Coast since 1994. In these uncertain times, we understand our customers' need for an immediately safe environment. Top Dog is now specializing in electrostatic cleaning as well as full commercial janitorial services for clients that include the U.S. Pentagon. We have crews ready to efficiently and proactively address and clean confirmed COVID-19 areas to allow a safe return to the space at the earliest convenience. Give Top Dog Services a call to find out why our motto stands strong. Lean on experience, adapt to new ideas. Red Sun Custom Apparel opened for business in Ocean City, Maryland with the mission of providing total customer satisfaction. Our philosophy is simple. Offer a wide selection of leading products at competitive prices and provide high quality customer service seven days a week. Our customers place orders with confidence knowing they will be completed on time and accurate according to the high standards Red Sun Custom has quickly become known for. Call us today for all of your promotional needs. You don't buy an ordinary chair for the beach, so why would you buy an ordinary air conditioner for the beach? Arctic Air Coastal Series, built for the beach. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Another successful trip aboard the Buffalo Hunter yeah, Guide man. Service. Yeah, man. Welcome back to the game, bro. So uh, the, the Chesapeake Bay is a beautiful, beautiful place, man. And if you find any of these towns dotted along the western shore of the eastern shore, you can find some really, really good fishing. We came out here in the spring, had a great time with Danny Wynn. Captain Brian is actually going to be uh, chartering over here. Unlike Danny, he's a private guy. Um, but Captain Brian here will be chartering over here on the Chesapeake Bay all the way through probably December. Yeah. Fish stop at, biting, basically. Yeah, at least through Thanksgiving, you know, depending yeah. on, you know, how warm it stays. Yeah. yeah, but at least through Thanksgiving, you know, rock fishing stays good. What can we expect? You said we actually got here early in the season. We had some pretty good yeah, fishing. Yeah, it felt day. like it with all the white perch and everything we yeah. caught way up in the creeks, you know, still pretty early. You know, really, you know, should have seen a little bit more rock fish. You know, never did catch a respectable trout today. Thanks. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, but yeah, we still got plenty of time. Water is still in the mid 70s. You know, at the, the time Lord. we filmed this, by the time this is out on TV, yeah. you know, it'll probably cool off a little bit, but. Like I said, all the way through at least Thanksgiving, you know, th this this fishing stays very good. That's awesome. It should get nothing but better. Yeah, yeah, we at least had, for the next had, eight weeks or so. We had a decent bite, man. We had caught a couple keeper rockfish. Yep. Uh, remember to check those limits over here. Chesapeake Bay is changing. Um, but I know it's open all the way through December. I think they close the season in December again. Yeah. Um, but right now, it is open. <clears throat> and Captain Brian will know all those limits, size limits on, on speckled trout and red drum and rockfish. 
that's for him to worry about. You guys book the boat. You get on there, you have a good time, you catch some fish, if you want to release them, that's fine. If you want to keep some, he'll know all the limits on what you're allowed to keep as far as Maryland regulations are concerned or Virginia regulations are concerned, depending on where you're fishing and where you're landing the fish. Uh, we fished out of Virginia today, just a, a couple of mile jump down from Pocomoke over here on the western shore of the eastern shore of Virginia. Beautiful area. And in the spring, he and I are already setting up a date to go over to Watch Creek, which is just down the road a little ways to the south, right over on the coast because we love the flounder fishes so much. And Captain Brian will be doing that again in the spring. You gonna do Pocomoke River this winter? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. my God, we're going yeah. fishing with this guy probably three or four more times from, from before 2022 rolls in. So it'll be over here on the Chesapeake Bay, just like you saw today. Winter time fishing on the Pocomoke. And we love doing that for those crappies, uh, small bass, uh, pickerel and things like that we catch over there. And then sometime in probably late March, early April, it's over there on the on the uh, eastern shore of Virginia with the Watchapreek trip. We love doing that flounder fishing, man. Maybe Joey Morasco get an invite. Mm, I said we'll maybe. See. I said we'll maybe. See. Yeah, I said maybe. Joey, you keep being nice. Lay off that offshore tuna bragging and all that stuff. <laughs> people bring you along. <laughs> Got them all. How do people get in touch with you? They want to get on board, man. Uh, you can give me a call 240-876-9054. You can check me out at CaptainBrianBehe.com or BuffaloHunterGuideService.com. And we're on Facebook and Instagram also. Buffalo underscore Hunter underscore Fishing on Instagram. Check us out. You can get a hold of us any any of those ways. Basically, any message. That's how I do things. Yeah, man. man we the out there. Report, we out there, man. Any fishing report, all that stuff comes to me. It's through Facebook, Instagram, uh, email, text message. We get it always. So if you get any of those contacts, Go ahead and send him a message, and he will reply to the message. I guarantee that. Yeah. The text message, it might be a month or two, but uh, other than that, That's it's pretty you. prompt. That's just you. Block, uh, he's blocked. Uh, so. And folks, make sure you check us out on the social media platforms, all right? We're YouTube.com Unseen Pro, and that's spelled U-N-S-C-E-N-E Pro.com. And don't forget to go to uh, HookedOnOC.com for all the episodes of the show. If you want to check out my fishing report every single night, it's FishingOC.com. And that thingamajig is available all around Ocean City. Atlantic Tackle's got a ton of them. Comes in two colors, both of them glow. And as you can see, it's really effective for these inshore species. If you don't live in the area, it's fishingoc.com to pick that up or any of our flounder rigs and that sort of thing. Bro, always appreciate it. Thank you. Tell little John I said hello. Tell yeah, Dana man. I said Thank hello. You. And folks, stay tuned next time for another episode of Hooked on OC. You never know where we're coming from. We appreciate you watching every single week. Peace out.